All right, so we are on to the last gold wine, last gold red. This is the uh, Chateau Bonnet Bordeaux, uh, Bordeaux Rouge. Uh, let me start that over. Okay. <clears throat> so on to the last gold wine, last gold red. We're looking at the uh, Chateau Bonnet uh, Bordeaux Rouge. This is an equal part blend of Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot, two biggest Bordeaux grapes, um, and comes to us from the larger Bordeaux AOP. So. It's kind of all over, but typically blends like this tend to come from the southern part of Bordeaux, so towards that uh, entre du mer region where a lot of the uh, larger production wines are made. So when we think of Bordeaux and when we think of like Cab Merlot, Cab Franc, Malbec, stuff like that, we tend to think of these just massive powerhouse wines um, that you know need a ton of alcohol, they need a ton of tannin, and that's just not the case. I think this is a really fun example of how Bordeaux can be, and Bordeaux varietals in general, can be kind of a lighter affair, you know, a little bit more food versatile, if you will. So this guy sees oak, I believe, for nine months to 12 months. Um, grapes are aged separately and then brought together. This is the 2016 vintage. Let's give it a look. So looks like Bordeaux. Um, kind of this medium ruby color bordering on deep ruby a little bit of like purple hues there kind of fades to pink towards the outside you can see through it pretty well um there's not you know it's clearly fine and filtered there isn't really any sediment that's getting in the way of anything um so yeah let's give it a smell lots of like bright red fruits um like i get more raspberry than anything else a little bit of cassis you get a touch of black fruit on the end. You get a little bit of this, um, like kind of rustic earthiness. You get a little bit of like cedar and cigar smoke in the background, but it's super faint. It's really more about the fruit on this guy. So let's give it a taste. So yeah, lighter bodied than you would expect um, for a Bordeaux. Um, I'd say medium, medium plus acid, and then tannins that are kind of um, really like kind of stony and dusty. Um, you get these really tart red fruits. They're not really reduced or, or rich or anything like that. They're very fresh. They're very crunchy. Um, a little bit of oak in the background. It's a super straightforward, easy drinking red um, that you could pair with like red meat, but honestly, just due to the kind of higher acid and just fresher nature of it, I would pair this with like maybe heavier seafood or some pork or something like that. <laughs> 